Hey guys, it's scary. We've got some noisy geese here today. Join me on the farm. Ramen cow. It has a humped back, long drooping ears and loose skin. The cemental cow family. The bull. And there's two calves and a cow. The cemental accounts for nearly half of the cattle of Switzerland, Austria and the western areas of Germany. Smaller than the Charolais and Limousin, the cemental was developed for milk, meat and draught. It is yellowish brown or red with characteristic white markings. It is named after the valley and the Sim River in Switzerland. Cemental cattle are amongst the oldest and most widely distributed of all breeds of cattle in the world and recorded since the Middle Ages. The cemental breed has contributed to the creation of several other famous European breeds. And here come the next lot of animals. ginger cat, two roosters and some geese. And the kittens. Kittens learn to hunt by play fighting. It's important to have a cat on a farm. It helps reduce rodent pests which eat the grain and crops and also spread disease. Who needs an alarm clock? The geese family. The legs are farther forward than in swans and ducks, allowing the bird to walk readily. Both sexes utter loud honking or gabbling cries while on the wing or when danger appears. When angry, geese vibrate their neck feathers after routing an intruder. Now we have some sheep and pigs. The ram, lamb, you, the male boar, and the female sow. And here's their little piglet. Pigs are highly social and intelligent animals. With around 1 billion individuals alive at any time, the domestic pig is among the most populous large mammals in the world. Pigs are omnivores and can consume a wide range of food. Their long snout is strengthened by a special prenasal bone and by a disc of cartilage at the tip. The snout is used to dig into the soil to find food and is a very acute sense organ. The Merino Ram. They are much prized for their beautiful wool. They originated in Spain and are now the most popular sheep in New Zealand and Australia. The Merino Ewe. They are excellent foragers and very adaptable. They must be shorn at least once a year because their wool does not stop growing. And here's the vegetable garden. Carrots, cabbage, cauliflower and pumpkins. The Indian Crested Porcupine. It belongs to the Old World Porcupine family. It is native to Southern Asia and the Middle East. Here come the alpacas and goats. <laughs> the 
the alpaca, it differs from the llama in having a rounded rather than squarish body and its habit of pressing its tail close to the body rather than holding it erect as the llama does. The present distribution of alpacas is limited to central and southern Peru and western Bolivia. And this is the little Kriya. The Angora goat and kid. They are a breed of domestic goat originating in ancient times in the district of Angora in Asia Minor. The goat silky coat yields the mohair for commerce. They are generally smaller than other domestic goats and sheep. Both sexes are horned and the ears are long and drooping. Remember to tap the bell icon to be notified when my next new video is uploaded. Subscribe and like if you like farm animals. Please stay and watch another video with me. Thank you for watching my video. See you again soon. See you guys in my next video.